Master of Your Spirit. What a cracking read, as always. Oh, the I'm thing glad is, you liked it. Well, you've got to read your books in a wonder. That's the only thing. You can't, <laughs> you, you're like, I'll just leave it for later. No, I won't. I'll just keep going like this. Well, you're, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. It's all about the storytelling, isn't it? You're such a great storyteller. That's where it all begins. Well, I think it begins actually with the character. Yeah. The, the, let's say protagonist, because right. I read a Graham Greene interview, the late Graham Greene, years ago, and someone asked him what he thought every morning when he sat down at his desk to work. And he said, I tell myself character is plot, meaning the inner character of the protagonist right. is going to be that person's destiny. Mm. And that's where my heart came from. Mm. A little girl who suddenly I thought, oh, who is she? And that's how James Falconer came to me. I was finishing another book and suddenly there was a little boy in my head pushing a wheelbarrow up a hill and he gets a pain and a neighbour comes and helps him. He was 14 and I thought, oh, it's Jimmy. Oh, wow. wait a minute, here's a new book. That's amazing that it just and comes to you like that. It did. It always does. When yeah. I'm finishing something or in the middle of another book, <laughs> I get that idea, but I put it away right. and then I take it out. And but I, I sort of fell in love with him, you yeah, know. He's, he's, a good, it, it, he's a great character. And it, it ends, of course, when he's about 19 mm. and the next book starts, which will come out next year, right. uh, when he's... 19, 20, sure. and it will be four books Fantastic. altogether. Do you see this as also getting made for TV or perhaps a movie? Well, do you write like that or do you not? No, you, you know, I write to be read, yeah, not to be seen. For sure. My husband's a movie producer yeah. and has made all, almost all of the of the ones that were made, sure. he made. Um, and of course, they've all been great for they help sales of books. And you know, when you're married to me, he's not going to upset me. <laughs> he always makes a, a good miniseries or a good movie of the week. Absolutely, of course he does. Married what? So, Bob, if you're listening, <laughs> thank you. Sort of, yeah, thank you, Bob, and we'll get this one sorted out. Married, what, 55 years? More than that? 55 years at Christmas. Wow. That's Christmas amazing. Eve, we got married. Oh, how lovely. Because he'd arrived, he'd been away, and he was in London making a movie and he had to go away somewhere to France. And when he came back, he, he came back a few days late. And I thought, I wonder if he's coming back. We're getting, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting married tomorrow. But he showed up. Thank goodness for Showed that. up. <laughs> you look fabulous, Barbara. You Thank really you. do. Is it OK if I tell people that you're what age you are? Why not? I am. So I can't hide it. <laughs> it's all over the newspaper this morning. So. I can't believe you're in your 80s. It's crazy. Yes. And do you think the writing keeps you as sharp as you are because you're a very bright, intelligent, sharp woman? Is it because you keep working? Is that the key? I think it's a lot of things. I'm, I'm very healthy. You are. Touch, yes. touch wood. Yes. Um, I don't take pills. Right. I um, eat carefully. I don't drink much. I like a glass of champagne. Uh, I've got a lot of energy and I've yeah. always had that, mm. physical energy yeah. and mental curiosity. Ah, curiosity and it's the it's the mind. I always say people who don't read newspapers and don't go out to movies who are getting older, mm. um, they just fade away. And when you retire, you die. And so Bob still works. He still works <laughs> and yes. you still work. I mean, you work yes. all the time. I mean, you work incredibly hard. I do a, hard. Book, a book a year, sometimes oh, two, or uh, one and a half. Mm. And I read the newspapers, watch television and keep myself well informed yeah. and get out there. Yeah. You can't sit at home. But I enjoy the writing. Well, that's the thing you obviously enjoy, yes. but you do. And is New York home? That's would you it's say? It's home, but I've added it up and we usually come... A, a half a dozen times a year. Right. Last year we came six months all together, but not all at once. Sure, you know. just we sort of commute. I'm back here a lot. I love that you commute from yes. New York. Now, about 20 years ago, I remember coming to see you, and you were so lovely. We did a big special on Barbara just to celebrate her wonderfulness, and that's you in your beautiful, beautiful New York apartment. Oh, that was River House. Ah, it was gorgeous. Yes. It was absolutely beautiful. And then you took us. I've Connecticut. still got that jacket. Well, it, why would you not? It's gorgeous. <laughs> and then you took us to Connecticut and you made us lunch and you made us so well 
outcome. Oh, do you and think it was oh, just, Connecticut? Yeah, and it was just a great experience. Well, that was the early 90s. Yeah, it was. And you haven't changed. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think my style might have got a wee bit better. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to think I really would. Yes. So you have to keep on working I and doing to. what you do. And these stories are great. And what I like about you as well is there's been a sort of, I suppose, a trend of, of, of sort of going a little bit too much information as far as I'm concerned about sex in books. You know, like the whole kind of Fifty Shades and whatever. For me, I, I, we all know what happens. And I don't particularly want to read about the squelchiness. Well, we don't need a, a manual, do we? No. You know, we don't want to know about no. stuff. <laughs> We fine. know it. We, we know, know it. it. We know it. We know it. We do. And that's why... It, we wouldn't be here if we didn't well, know indeed, it. There'd be no human true. race. But, but with you, it's, rom it's more romance, but in a, in a really real way. You know, it's not... Well, it's I think not it's... it's romance. It's you know what? I, sh I tell you what people are thinking at that moment, and it's what they say. I think... You know what they're doing, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you do it beautifully. Thank you. And you mustn't, mustn't, mustn't stop. And Master of His Feet is out right now. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, I'm very lucky that I got, I'm, I'm way ahead of the game. Barbara, thank you thank for you. all that you do. You're a blinking inspiration. You really are absolutely incredible. And just keep doing what you do. Thank you. And you do the same. <laughs> thank you so <laughs> thank much. You.